Chapter 15, Compound Time. In simple time, the beat units divide evenly into two parts. In contrast, the beats in compound time divide evenly into three parts. For practical reasons, beat units in compound time are usually notated with dotted notes, such as the dotted quarter. The meter of 6-8 is a good example of compound time, and it is shown here. The beats are notated as dotted quarter notes in this example, and the beat divisions are notated as eighth notes, as three eighth notes fit evenly into the space of a dotted quarter. Now, the standard counting method for these beat divisions are one and a, uh, two and a, uh, as shown here. The trickiest aspect of compound time is interpreting the time signature. Now, you will recall that in simple time, the top note of the time signature signifies the number of beats per measure. For example, 3-4 meter has 3 beats per measure and 5-4 meter has 5 beats per measure. However, in compound time, the top number of the time signature tells us the number of beat divisions per measure, not the number of beats. And therefore, we must divide the top number by 3 to ascertain the number of beats per measure. Now, this is pretty clear in this example. The 6-8 time signature accurately tells us that there are 6 eighth notes per measure. But these eighth notes are beat divisions, not beats. Dividing 6 by 3 gives us 2, and thus there are 2 beats per measure in 6-8 time. Because the beats in compound meter can always divide evenly into three parts, the top number of compound time signature will always be a multiple of three, such as 3, 6, 9, 12. Let's go ahead and look at Check Your Understanding 15.1 together right here. It asks, how many beats are in the following compound time signature? The first time signature is 9-8, indicating that there would be 9 eighth notes, but those would be much too quick to be considered as the beats. So we would divide the 9 by 3, and we would say that there are 3 beats per measure there. The 3-8 means that there are 3 eighth notes per measure, but again, we would divide the 3 by 3, and you guessed it, just 1 beat per measure in 3-8. That goes by rather quickly. 15-8, again, divide it by 3, you could see that there would be 5 beats per measure. And I'll let you go ahead and think about what the next two would be. Many compound time signatures have 8 as the bottom number, so it is relatively safe to assume that when the top number is divisible by 3 and the bottom number is an 8, the meter is compound. And however, many compound meters have other numbers as the lowest number of the time signature, such as 16, 4, 2. It's always best to check how the rhythm of the music is grouped to confirm whether or not the meter is compound. Now, there are many characteristic types of music that require compound time, such as an Irish jig. also a tarantella. You should take the time to go ahead and try to play or sing through these examples yourself and identify the keys for each. One of them is in a minor key. Now it's not just folk music that uses compound time. There are many famous examples in the standard literature, such as the first movement of the sonata in A major by Mozart, or the first movement of symphony number no. seven by Beethoven. At this time, you should do Check Your Understanding 15.2 and get a little practice in putting in the counts in compound meter. Now, all the examples we have seen so far use the dotted quarter to signify the beat unit, but it is also possible to use the dotted half note or the dotted eighth note as the beat unit. Here's some examples. This is a piece by Edvard Grieg that uses compound meter with a dotted half as the beat unit.
Now in the 6-4 meter of this example, the dotted half note is the beat unit, and the quarter note is the beat division. The counts have been placed accordingly. To determine the number of beats per measure, divide the top number of the time signature by 3, as we did before. As you can see, with the counts placed below the music, there are 2 beats per measure in 6-4 time. Here's an example of compound meter with a dotted eighth as the beat unit. This is from the Piano Sonata Opus 111, Movement 2 by Beethoven. In the 916 meter of this example, the dotted eighth note gets the beat, and the sixteenth note is the beat division. As with all compound time signatures, divide the top number by three, and you will discover the number of beats per measure. This is also clearly indicated in the counts beneath the music. Now, as with simple time, the beat divisions can be further subdivided. Interestingly, the note values on the subdivision level are a result of dividing the division level equally into two parts, not three. This, of course, is the same as with simple time. And examples of the beat, division, and subdivision levels of several compound time signatures are shown here. You may have noticed from this chart that there is no good counting method for the subdivision level in compound time, as this would necessitate too many syllables per beat to be useful. So if the rhythm is really complicated, students can place whole number counts at the division level and divide from there. This is shown as an example in 6-8 time. But just remember that while the counts that are applied in this manner can facilitate the learning of a difficult rhythm, they can't really impart the feeling of the two beats per measure that are implied by the time signature. This is what the example sounds like. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 1 and 2 and, and 4 and 5 and 6 and... 